Yeah, so uh, what a game. Uh, one of the most enjoyable games of the rugby championship. Uh, I think it was amazing. Um, i got to be honest, I've kind of enjoyed New Zealand going through the ringer, uh, finally, in their 100, and 100 plus year history. But uh, I really feel like uh, the, today was a turning point. They actually got their mojo back. Uh, like I think South Africa was a false storm, Eden Park. Um, they, they, they played well, but it, it really like smacked of desperation rather than like a considered game plan. And today, I think uh, all of the players have been under fire, really performed really well. And it was kind of one of those things. Uh, it kind of goes beyond like normal explanation. Like uh, everything came together. Like uh, Sam Kane put in a massive, massive performance. And you could see his face after the match. He knew it, you know what I mean? He knew that that was it. This is the defining moment of his career. And perhaps this All Blacks team, especially leading up uh, into the World Cup in, in, uh, next year in France. And uh, yeah, they, New Zealand have got their mojo back. That is it. So uh, the rest of world rugby are on notice as far as I'm concerned. I know you can say it's only in Argentina, but Argentina absolutely stuffed the uh, Wallabies over there. Uh, they beat New Zealand again, you know, for the second time in two years. And then New Zealand absolutely put them to bed today. And it wasn't just the points, it was the manner in which they did it. it the quality of the performance, the variation, the passion. And all of those players who were under fire actually played well, like Havili, uh, Kane, obviously. Um, yeah, uh, Aaron Smith I thought was amazing as well. Especially after last week, he, he was a little bit lacklustre, let's say. Like his energy levels didn't really seem to be up, but he seemed to be fired up for this game. And, uh, you know, he's been around a lot. and Yeah. So just a great performance, very enjoyable match for someone who's not even really an All Blacks fan. But, like, considering the suffering and the journey they've been on, uh, for the players especially, uh, I think it was a, just a fantastic game to watch. Uh, congratulations. Uh, Joe Schmidt, I think, has had a big impact uh, in the last two weeks or so that he's been attacking coach. And you could really see there was a lot of variation. Moanga, I thought, uh, he hasn't had that, that much game time, but he's looking far more confident. I mean, you could pick like mistakes that he made or anything, but at least he's willing to try stuff. I'm willing to have a go and I think that's what the New Zealand public and like world rugby public really wanted. They wanted like New Zealand's players to actually play, you know. Uh, so yeah, just a great performance. Uh, congratulations to New Zealand and the uh, Kiwi fans. And uh, here's to the rest of the rugby championship and the tests in Northern Hemisphere and the World Cup. Let's enjoy ourselves. Uh, some Greek rugby to be played yet. Yeah. All right. Peace.